Welcome back to the Thrift Store Rundown's Expedition to the Emmys, celebrating TV's grandest night by doing what we do best, bringing Hollywood home on a budget. I'm sure you remember that old Al Bowley song, at the least, from The Shining, and how it relates to this book. It's all forgotten now. The trouble and the pain that everybody in the television industry goes through to, at the very least, be nominated for an Emmy. Every word said by the presenters at the annual Emmy Awards, renouncing the categories and the nominees and ultimately who won the thing. Every tear said on the part of the winners and the nominees and of course the starstruck audience. Everyone still in love with their craft. Well, I can assure you that hasn't been forgotten and will not be forgotten anytime soon. And that's in large part to all of that being chronicled at least the first half century of this golden goal in this one-of-a-kind book, which I picked up for $12.99. I don't usually pick up stuff at the thrift store for a price like this, $12.99, but I can assure you that the best in television, 50 years of Emmys, is worth every cent and more. This is authored by Maury Gelman and Gene Ackers, with introductions by two veterans of the small screen, Betty Wright and Bob Newhart, both of whom still alive and kicking. This is published by General Publishing Group, and retails for, uh, let's see, 35 bucks in the U.S. and $49 in Canada. When it comes to television, the most widely accepted recognition of excellence is the Emmy Award. Since the first statuette was handed out in 1949, the thousands of men and women who have received an Emmy have joined a stunning pantheon peopled by some of the greatest performers and craftspeople of the 20th century. What you're going to get in the back here is as follows. A definitive look at the awards that honor excellence in television as well as a tour of half a century of world history. Created with the endorsement and full cooperation of the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, this book features hundreds of archival photographs, many never before seen that document TV's awesome scope. Like this, from the studio audience's point of view of I Love Lucy. Many Emmy Award winners, in the black and white heydays, like here at Mary Tyler Moore, and down here with Fraser. Center stage, Kelsey Grammer. Interviews and quotes from some of the greatest performers and behind-the-scenes legends of the 20th century, most of those quotes coming in the form of sidebars from winners of certain categories. A close-up look at the evolution of television from the Golden Age to the Cyber Age. From 16 television stations and 190,000 TV homes to 1,500 stations and 98 million TV homes. A listing of the 1998 Emmy Award nominees and winners, well, for the main ceremony. And the main highlight of this review, a behind-the-scenes, minute-by-minute timeline, and look at the 49th Annual Emmy Awards presentation behind the scenes, which also includes a photo gallery. Around the Clock at the 49th Annual Primetime Emmys, hosted by Bryant Gumbel, Saturday through Sunday, September 13th to 14th, 1997, Pasadena Civic Auditorium, Pasadena, California, live on CBS. It was a three-hour telecast. It's nearly minute by minute, but man, this timeline is indunctuated with beautiful photographs behind the scenes, and towards the end of it all, a photo gallery from that particular ceremony. The majority of these photographs are from the red carpet on the uh, afternoon prior to the Emmys and of course during the Emmys and right afterwards. This is a photo gallery. And the one common denominator with all these uh, honorees here is that they are all wearing red ribbons in honor of AIDS awareness. One of the focal points of recognition and awareness and uh, activism for TV cares, that is their philanthropy division. This is some trivia regarding uh, Emmy Award winners and nominees. That's for individuals and for their shows, and even for spouses and for parents and children. And Emmy winners who also won Oscars. This is the 1998 main listing for all the Emmy nominees. Outstanding comedy and drama series and miniseries, made for TV movie, variety musical comedy series or special, lead actor in a comedy and drama, lead actor in a miniseries or movie, lead actress in a miniseries or movie, lead actress in a comedy and drama, supporting actor, actress, comedy, drama, so on, so forth, 
directing, writing, guest acting, performance in a variety of music program, and that's just for starters. I can't really summarize this any better than what you just saw on the back, the preview of what you're going to get with this book. It's a mixture of black and white photography and color photography, numerous behind-the-scenes accounts, and of course, accounts from the ceremony, the ceremonies, really, themselves. This is part history, part pop culture extravaganza, and in millennial speak, it's just everything. For a TV buff, even of this generation, it really is everything. And to give it anything less than a full Monty here, I don't have any statues to give this, but uh, to give it any less than five claps would be a terrible disservice. By the way, I actually own the 50th Annual Emmy Awards Program Guide, along with, I believe, five other Emmy programs. If you want to see them all, there's a link in the description to check out my Emmy Award Program Awards, where I give specific shoutouts in my own specific categories, which I think are worth your attention. So that will be in the description below if you want to check that out. Now, if I could, thank the Academy for this hella fun weekend of making entrances into the Emmys, but also take a cue and thank all of you guys for watching this series from start to finish if you did. It's a thing that many Emmy Award winners shamefully don't do, which is why I'm going to do it on behalf of all of them. And for the ones that do do it, more power to you. Your Emmys are definitely more well deserved. While I have no inclination of whether or not the thrift store one now will go to TV and actually get nominated for an Emmy real soon, let me tell you something. When they say that the best is yet to come, remember this book. They're not just sleeping rubber Emmys at us like they did on SNL with Susan Lucci, a veteran of the daytime Emmys, was hosting. They truly mean it. And the best certainly is yet to come. Tomorrow, I'll have a wrap-up video recapping all my items from Expedition to the Emmys, as well as some of my uh, favorite winners, if there are any, and some of my favorite moments from tonight's Emmys, which will be hosted by Cedric the Entertainer. It takes place at the event deck at LA Live before a limited, fully vaccinated audience, some mass, some not. It's going to be on CBS, so uh, definitely have fun watching that tonight, and of course, come back right here tomorrow. But for now, once again, I just want to say thanks so, so much for watching. And of course, you stay golden, everyone. Whoopsie! I forgot to mention one bonus component with this copy of the best in television. A uh, clipping from the Daily News comment section was heaven closed for the evening so that uh, the Commander-in-Chief of the Earth can watch Milton Ball. Uncle Milty. This is a clipping from the Daily News, or at least it looks that way. Alright guys, take care, stay safe, and now I'll catch you again on The Flip Side! <laughs>